Hey everybody and welcome back to the fourth sector as today we continue things off with Emissary Fortress. Emissary? 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 I have no idea but we'll find out later. And more Actraiser music. Uh, I'm not surprised. Not the least bit. But hopefully the stage doesn't take like a bajillion years to do. Oh god. Wait, did I do this already or did I not? Nah, I'm going under the assumption that this is brand new. It's uh, cutting edge stuff here. Of course this concept, uh, this stage concept is pretty well used I would say, right? You know the little snake thing, the snake doodles Oh, and of course I get hit. That's a good way to, oh god no, no, no. And I relive time just to uh, avoid uh, getting a hit. I guess, whatever. Oh no. Maybe someday they'll play something that is an act raiser. And that that didn't help my cause. I mean, I like the act raiser, but, you know, this is a little ridiculous. You start mixing that game and Mario, then, well, especially because you have Sonic in the equation also. That really screws things up, and I don't appreciate it one bit. Act Razor. It kind of brings back bad memories, though. I mean, some of those stages were kind of annoying. Really annoying, if you ask me. It's like some of the... No, oh, no, 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 no. I mean, some of the enemies that you fought, they were just really cheap. The placements of them, it was just awful. Bad times all around. Oh, oh okay. Um, oh, I see. That's how it works. Oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot, game. Jackass. Oh, bonus room. How many coins do we get today? Uh, there's like six there, I think. I, I don't know. I forgot, but it's already a lot more than the last time. So at least I'm making my money's worth here, even though, you know, like, whose line is it anyways? The points don't matter, right? That's the one thing we can agree on here. The points just don't freaking matter, and I just, well, just like Sonic's life, I guess. Doesn't matter. Wait a sec. I was supposed to go this way. Huh. What do you know? The more you learn. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, boy. Alright, you're getting a little too uh, ambitious with your moves here. Uh, okay, just cool off a little bit, man. Yeah, I'm still getting used to the whole Sonic thing, you know. Alright, see, that that's the way you're supposed to do it. Why am I making it so difficult? Then again, I guess that's my playing style. It's just, you know, bad habits, right? Oh, that reminds me of, like, a really bad Kaizo uh, stage. A ghost stage, no another. Oh, man. It's like you had to spin jump on top of those fires for, like, a ridiculous amount of uh, distance. It was awful. Never again. I mean, those are that's a moment that I'm just going to go and say never again. I mean, you do Kaizo once, and that's enough. That is way more than enough that you should be doing. And if you play more than that, then God rest your soul. God rest and God help it too. And that was mildly impressive until I died at the end. You know, I couldn't help it, man. I could not help it. Sonic just... I don't know, he's just well suited for failure. You know, given his experiences, right? But Sonic... And Sonic Pe well, Sega lovers are probably going to hate me for that statement, but you know what? Whatever. Whatever, dude. Wait, wait. Ah. Oh. No. Alright, so I wonder who the boss is for this stage. I wonder if they're going to have Act Razor bosses. And... Alright. Oh, what is getting in my way there besides the block? I'm pretty aware of that, but... Oh, man, come on, this this isn't difficult. Come on. 
Stupid black is annoying though. But yeah, um... I'm just full of a lot of things to talk about today, you know. Guess I could talk about work, but you know, work sucks. Nah, it doesn't suck. Just the just the callers that you talk to. And what am I supposed to do about that? Oh, okay. That that's a way about going about it, I suppose, right? All right. Is this? A oh, it doesn't fall apart. Okay, that's cool. Yes. Handled like a boss. And the stage is not over with yet. Seriously. Uh, I guess I... There's gotta be something here. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, you give me those mushrooms, man. Yeah, I, it'd be interesting to see if there were, like, act or bosses. Oh, no, we just got this segment there. Damn it. Alright, so... This isn't too bad. You just have enemies that, you know, inconveniently drop down at, like, a given moment, right? And... I don't know, did something break here? Because... This doesn't seem like it's going according to the creator's plan. I mean, these guys are supposed to drop down, right? And there's supposed to be this much, uh, slowdown, right? Please, go faster. Go faster. I mean, this is coming from Sonic, for God's sakes. Man's all about speed. Not the drug. Oh, okay, I'm waiting for it to speed up a little bit. Seriously. Yeah, something definitely did not go right in this stage. I mean, I have a feeling the top blocks are supposed to... Pretty much the whole platform above me is supposed to actually go like the snake and, you know, slowly you get these enemies dropping down on you and there's a lot of enemies. A lot of them, but it's just not working. Maybe there's just so much junk on the stage that you just can't, I don't know, maybe it's screwed up how it's supposed to work, but that was the easiest segment of my life. I would have to thank you, creator, for making my life pretty... Pretty, um, good. Pretty good. And is there a boss here? No, it's only a stage. This episode was also brought to you by coffee. It's good. Wow. Oh, okay, so we got the Emissary Fleet. Really? And Actraiser music. Holy energy sink, what? <laughs> That's a lot of ships, man. Could this be Scorpion's Fleet? I remember seeing a ship not too long ago. Sonic, shut up. You're drunk. How do you get all those ships built so fast? He must have built them long ago and had a hidden fortress somewhere. He shouldn't remember his fleet, though. Yeah, Hunter, that guy is most likely leading him. There you guys are. Tetrad. I was beginning to think you wouldn't show up back up. Look, up there. This big gun thing. It's aiming straight at the gem. Hmm. I take it this gem is important? It's only the most important thing in the fourth sector. That gem is our leader. If he gets destroyed, then this world is done for. It's effed. Don't you worry, Tetrad, we'll save your leader. A gem. Sure, let's uh let's go save this leader. Look over there, that's our ticket to the first ship of this fleet. Looks like a piece of crap. Good luck. Wait a second, Final Fantasy VI music. Now things are getting a lot better. Kudos to the creator for this one. Because that's what every ROM hack should have, is Final Fantasy VI music. If not, then... You suck. Oh, this is pretty cool, you know, when it... You know, I've done it once so far, and... 
you know, I can't knock it. It's, it's creative. You know, you have a little shooter segment. And you, you get to spam all the missiles you want. It's good times for Mario and Sonic, who's... Well, behind me, that's great. You never want Sonic behind Mario, ever. And, of course, I got hit. As soon as I said that, Sonic sabotaged me. Yeah, this isn't too bad, as long as you spam the missiles, then how can you get hit? I mean, I don't know what those things are, but they're kind of scary. It's like a meatball. Really horrible meatball that you would never want to eat. But, nonetheless, we got Final Fantasy VI music here. Okay, so you can't actually destroy those, but did I just destroy the turret? That's what it looks like, huh. I was gonna say it'd be cool if, you, well, a nice touch if you could actually destroy the ships. But I don't think that's working like that. But you can destroy those turrets, so that's cool. It's like the only destructible thing around here. But other than that, though, it's just... I don't know, you just spam the fire button and you're pretty much good to go. Minus that one hit I got dealt, you know, earlier, but that, that wasn't my fault. And are you serious? That is cheap. I just spawned there and I got hit. Shenanigans. This is bullshit. That's what that is, man. Sure, this uh, bad guy, he's not getting anything for Christmas, that's for sure. That's for sure. Spawning me in places where I just get hit immediately? No, I don't buy that, that's for sure. And those projectiles are they're pretty creepy to me. Now, a great scientific uh, experiment we can try is what happens if I go all the way back? Oh, nothing. Okay. I guess that answers my question. Nothing. I'm kind of used to the whole one-way heroics uh, mechanics where if you go too far back, then you're dead. Just get consumed by the darkness, of course. I mean, the only thing here is just, you know, we get the airship stage from Mario 3, except we have an airship of our own, so... Now, I keep thinking we should see, like, so, uh, sets her any time now. But, nope. Not that kind of game. Even though I am doing the Japanese version of Final Fantasy VI right now, so... You know, it's very fresh in my mind, all the music and all that good stuff. And I feel like I'm gonna die here. So, there is an uncomfortable amount of missiles here. Or cannons, yeah. Alright, so this, this stage would be more interesting, but I don't know, it's fairly easy to avoid everything. As long as you don't do anything stupid, but you can easily just spam all these projectiles and be relatively safe. No doubt a lot of work has been put into here since, you know, he thought out different paths from the look of it. Albeit maybe one or two. But you know, some work definitely went into this. More work than I can ever like uh, fathom for making these kind of stages. I mean, I looked at the. What is it? The Fusoya? Fusoya? Oh, and okay, I can actually move now. That's good. The Fusoya program, I think it is, or. I don't know, I, I kind of forget the name of the program which uh, you use for creating a Mario ROM hacks, but looked into it. Never really got too far into it since, you know, school and all. So, you know, classes took up my time pretty well. Oh, and we have a bonus stage, okay. Two, three. Uh, I already screwed it up. Uh, Stupid fire flyer screwed me over. I'm, I'm taking this. Yeah, there we go. It pays off in the end. When you cheat, 
when you cheat at games, you always win. From Sonic. Oh yeah. So in the next episode, we are going to do ship to ship. I have no idea of what you're trying to do with that name there, but I think I know where you're going. But in the next episode, ship to ship. See ya.